Avatar, bearing the signature of master director James Cameron, tells the story of a military avatar program established to exploit the resources of a distant planet named Pandora. After arriving on the planet, Jake Sully, who transfers his mind into an avatar body, forms a connection with the nature of Pandora and its indigenous people, the NA6. He becomes enlightened about the dangers of the project and decides to oppose it, choosing to fight against his own kind. James Cameron acquired the idea for Avatar after watching Disney's animated film Pocahontas. Cameron has acknowledged the influence of Disney's Pocahontas on the concept of Avatar. Cameron, seeing Gollum in the Lord of the Rings series, became convinced that CGI technology had advanced enough, and he began writing feasible scenarios in 2005. James Cameron's original plan was to release the film shortly after Titanic, in 1999. However, due to the high cost of the desired visual effects at the time, the film's budget reached $400 million. No studio could afford this cost, so the film had to wait for eight years. For the role of Jake Sully, the studio's initial choices were Matt Damon and Jake Gyllenhaal. Cameron wanted Matt Damon for the role, and he even offered him 10% of the film's revenue to accept it. So, if Damon had accepted the role, he would have earned over $250 million when the film was released. However, he turned down the role. James Cameron actually told Matt Damon that he didn't need a star for the role and that if he didn't accept the offer, he would turn to a lesser-known actor. Cameron followed through with this and cast Sam Worthington, who was relatively unknown at the time, as the lead role. During the auditions, Sam Worthington was actually living in his car. Additionally, Chris Pine, who worked with Zoe Saldana in Star Trek, and Chris Pratt, who co-starred with her in Guardians of the Galaxy, also auditioned for the role, but were not chosen. Pine has described it as the worst audition of his life. To assist the actors in preparing for their roles, director. James Cameron took the cast and crew to Hawaii, where they spent their days hiking in the forest and living like tribes. However, these hikes were only conducted during the daytime, and the cast and crew spent their nights in a hotel. The production of the film, which had a challenging production due to the use of motion capture and 3D technologies, lasted for years. Work on the film was carried out from the pre-production stage to the release date over the course of four years. It is claimed that director James Cameron, known for being tough on set, kept a nail gun to nail cell phones ringing disruptively to a wall above the exit sign. Bestechi James Horner, Bunin Onan E N Zor Filmi V Karrierin in E N Bayak Mukadelasi Old Junu Balertmis. Beer Bukuk Y L Boyanka Saba for Foot 10 Axum 10 Akada Music User in Sultan Soilamister. The NA6 language was created from scratch by a linguist named Dr. Paul R. Frommer. Cameron hired Frommer to create a language that was easy for the actors to pronounce but did not resemble human languages. Frommer created nearly 1,000 words for the language. In an interview, actor Sam Worthington mentioned that learning the NA6 language was easier than learning an American accent. Many of the animal sounds heard in the film are created by modifying the sounds of the T-Rex and raptors from the 1993 film Jurassic Park. The word avatar means embodiment, or incarnation in Sanskrit, and it is commonly used in Hindu sacred texts to describe the manifestation of a deity in human form. According to Cameron, the choice of the color blue was made to establish a parallel connection with traditional Hindu gods like Rama and Krishna, whose depictions often feature blue skin. Additionally, Cameron's personal affinity for the color blue also influenced this choice. The film is 40% live-action and 60% photorealistic CGI. Motion capture technology was used in many CGI scenes. The facial expressions of the actors portraying the NA6 people were captured by cameras attached to their heads and markers placed on their faces, which were then recorded by sensors and saved to a computer. Zoe Saldana's facial, vocal, and physical recordings for all scenes were done simultaneously. It took a year to record and create Nightitiri based on these captures. The cigarette smoked by Sigourney Weaver in the film was entirely created by computer-generated imagery. Jake's atrophied legs were prosthetics made from the legs of someone paralyzed from the waist down. Sam Worthington's real legs were tucked into a wheelchair and digitally removed in post-production. Grace's book in the abandoned school is Dr. Seuss's The Lorax. Like the film's plot, 
The book is about a forest filled with beautiful trees and mystical creatures that are constantly being destroyed by humanity's ever-growing industrial passion. Avatar became the first Best Picture Oscar nominee to be shot in 3D and widely distributed in that format. Its tremendous success paved the way for the proliferation of 3D films, making it one of the most influential factors leading to nearly every blockbuster film now coming with a 3D option. The film takes place between the years 2148 and 2154. When we look at Jake's video diary entries, the entire film spans 96 days. The first diary entry is dated May 19, 2154, and the last diary entry is dated August 24, 2154, which is Jake's birthday. Additionally, the final battle coincides with Cameron's 200th birthday, which is 200 years later. Avatar is the highest-grossing film of all time and the first film to surpass the $2 billion mark at the box office. You're correct. Avengers Endgame surpassed Avatar at the box office. Avatar had a budget of approximately $237 million. Avatar is included in the 1001 Movies You Must See Before You Die list, edited by Steven Schneider.